Hey guys, it's Ty's Minecraft 360 here with another video for you guys today. And today, actually, um, this is the night. This is te technically Christmas night. Um, today was Christmas, and I got a few things. One of th not not all the things here in this video are things I got for Christmas, but one of these things in particular that I got for Christmas, um, I want to show you guys. Um, as like a review. This is a very old item. This is a uh, World War Two army um item but here's the thing it's first of all it's not united states army it's actually german army it's from world war ii i got it here this is actually uh it's pretty expensive um i mean most german uh world war ii stuff is expensive but um if you watch my other videos i have a couple of videos on um different gas masks and uh a video on the germ the Russian GP5 and the Hungarian M76. Now, I have the German, uh, I think it's the GM42? Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember. Um, this is the GM42, I believe. This is the, the later version. Um, it's almost got all its original straps. This is, uh, this is an original strap here. You'd sling this, whoops, got, sling that over your body. And then has this little strap down here on the bottom of the canister and that'll slide onto your belt. Now I believe, from what I was told, one of these straps is a reproduction. I believe it to be this small strap because the metal bit here is in way too good a shape to be original. So I'm going off that everything else is rusty, but this, I'm saying that this is the reproduction piece. But all everything else on this is completely original. Except for this little strap here. But that's alright. Um, just makes it more durable, you know, but, uh, so we got the pull strap here. The spring is not stuck. It's got a, well, first of all, we'll, we'll look at the canister. It's got a little bit of rust on it, but it's still got, I believe to be, eh, it might not, yeah, I take that back. It might not be the original paint because it's got, look at that. Um, it might be, I doubt it. I'm not sure if this is original paint or not, but. So we got some kind of paint on it. That's something. Um, it's got this. This is cracking here. It's like you guys can see that it's cracking right there. I don't think that's either rubber. I think that's rubber right there. It's cracking on this uh, piece right here. But um, this you can tell that this piece here is definitely original because it's definitely tattered looking. Um, you pull on this to open the canister. You pull on this. And then lift it out. You see, it's got a little shape here and a little pin. And it locks in like that. Like that. And then you pull up like that. And then you got the inside. Now, first of all, here's the gas mask. But in the lid, you got a little compartment here. And if I open that, you got anti fogging lenses there. These are actually still sealed in the package, so those are staying like that. Um, so now, first of all, I will say the straps themselves are in good condition, but some of them are kind of torn and frayed. But the gas mask itself is in very good condition. Like, has a few problems, like I'll mention, like I'll mention problems, but the actual rubber itself is immaculate. No splits, no cracks, no dry rot. The rubber is perfect. So, get the mask out. Okay, here's the mask. Put the canister down for a second. First start with the simple, the simply the mask. I believe this is the 42? The GM42? Again, I don't remember the exact model. Um, but, first we'll start with, like I said, the condition of the rubber. The rubber on this is in very good condition. You can see... It's very, very flexible. It's very, very flexible still. It's very soft, very soft rubber. Very high quality for a simple gas mask. I mean, it's a little bit squishy, but it's all right. This actually gets a very good face seal on my face. Now, I will quickly mention the couple flaws with this. One, got some fraying here which I'm planning on seeing if I can have my mom fix that. And then we have some really bad, 
fraying here on the, uh, it still works, it still holds itself, but it is really bad fraying. You use this to hold the gas mask on you like this. Kind of similar to the Hungarian gas mask. It's the same concept. You could hold it around your neck and like, that's really bad right there, but hold it around your neck and just kind of let it dangle in front. I probably uh, don't use this much. It, see, it's, it's just getting worse. But because of this, this is a really weak point. But problem number three, somewhere on both of these lenses, the eye lenses themselves are have a little bit of a leak in them. So this mask is not practical in any way because of that until I can get that resealed and fixed. But once that's resealed, this mask could totally be used. Because the thing is, I this is something that I'm going to talk about in this video that I never see anyone else talk about in their videos about one of these gas masks, is that the filter thread, I never ever see anyone talk about the filter or the filter thread other than the fact that it has asbestos in it, which is very obvious. Speaking of the filter, get our canister back and reach inside. We have the original filter. Now, this is uh, an FE41 filter. Uh, I don't I think this date here means it was made in 1942. Focus. Okay, what is that? There's a number there, 42. I believe that might be the date. Um, it, the uh, symbol that has the uh, Nazi German insignia and stuff on it is like almost gone. You can barely even see the 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 eagle shape, and maybe some symbols, but it's basically gone. Um, have like a little warning symbol here. The most vivid is that 42 number that I just showed you. Now, this filter. Just like the GP5 times, it basically imagine this filter, like the GP5 filter times 10. This filter is very dangerous to breathe through. If you breathe through this, you're going to have a bad time. First of all, okay. Clean hand. Okay, you can see. I've got some car charcoal dust. Tap it a couple more times. Got a little bit more dust. Tap it on this side now. As you can see, this, this filter is, in fact, leaking. It's a very old filter. It's dinged up on the bottom. So that's definitely going to release. That's definitely going to loosen asbestos fibers. So you don't want to breathe through this. It's got roll holes. Rusted in the side. I taped it over so the charcoal pellets wouldn't fall out. So you n do not ever consider putting this on your mask and using it. Never. This is a display piece only. This is something you put on your mask, put the mask back on the shelf or whatever you put your masks, and leave it. And then you can screw it on and off, and you can leave it on your shelf, but that's completely fine. But never breathe through it. Not even, don't even, like the GP5, that's a use at your own risk. It might give, it might release asbestos into you, but at the same time, it might not. It depends on the condition. This, there's no argument. Don't. Simply don't. Um, unless you want to die of lung cancer, then go by all means. But again, don't, please. <laughs> so back to the mask. Um, so again, the, we're going to talk about the thread in this video. The thread, never, no one ever talks about. Okay. Original filter. If, if anybody even has the filter, they'll say they'll have filter on the mask, like so, and that's it, with its original filter and the mask, that's it, this is all you ever see, German gas masks, but what if I told you that this mask will fit with, I haven't tested it with NATO filters, but I have tested it with Gost filters, and yes, it does work. Now, you might think, oh, it Gauss filters, that's a GP5. Well, if the GP5 is risky, then why would I use that either? Well, here's the thing, okay? Um, what, did I get the filter? I think I did. Um, if I did. Um, by the way, never mind. Um, 
you know, you know, a little filter called the, uh, the FP5, common filter that people buy for GP5s. Well, guess what? That filter is 100% compatible with these masks. So, if you have one that's in good condition and is all airtight, which this one's not at the moment, this one has a few leaks, which I will fix, hopefully, in the future. Um, as long as this, you've got the right size, which mine's a size 3, as long as you have the right size for your face, and it seals good to you and doesn't have any leaks, and you use like an FP5, brand new FP5, this gas mask will work as a gas mask, still, for being so old. Um, my FP5 filter is around here somewhere. I've gotten it for this video, and I don't know where I sat it. Um, hold on one moment. Okay, I'm back with, uh, my filters. So, first have basic FP5 filter. I haven't made a video on these yet. But uh, I think I will be making a video on these, probably once the weather gets better. Because um, right now, like I said, it's just Christmas, so it's winter. Um, I'll do an outdoor testing of the this filter with the smoke bombs. Not outdoor, but in the garage <clears throat> with these, this filter. Um, so yeah, these are new filters. This was made in uh, 2006 and was only opened this year, so this is still a good filter. Whoops, what did you do? Oh, a little nub. Um, so watch this, okay. Modern FP5 German gas mask from World War II. This has a date on it of 1943, so. Ta-da! Now, this mask is 100% safe to use. 100% safe. Of course, I can't say about these straps. They might not be very tight. And mine is missing one of the buckles, but it still gets an airtight seal around the edge. Like I said, it still has a leak in the eye lenses, but allow me to demonstrate putting on the mask. Now this one's a little bit different than like a GP5 or anything like that. So what I do, grab it by these two straps right here, put it over your head, pull it down, Make sure these straps are under your ears. Look down. Okay. Make sure it's in place. Probably want if you have long hair like me, you probably want to get the hair out. And then take these straps and these hooks. Pull that tight and pull that over the hook. And normally you do it on this side too, but that's where the hook's missing. So I just pull that. Now this mask. If as long as these if these uh lenses were airtight, this mask would work perfectly fine in any scenario. Now, let's put that out of the way. Uh with the FB5 filter and the hat being full rubber design and the rubber being in good condition, all I have to do now for this to be a completely viable gas mask is to fix the leak in the eye lenses. That's all I have to do. <laughs> As I said, I have, uh, I already had a set of anti-fogging lenses in the, uh, in the eyepieces, so I have those, and those have dates of 19, both of them have dates of 1943 on them, so this is all original, so you can see the, the harness strap, it's not actually, it's not that bad to wear, um, one thing I will compare it to, Remember, if you watched my um, video on the Hungarian ga gas mask, I said it was very similar to these German gas masks. And I do have it right here for comparison. Now, this is more similar to, like, the uh, the GM38, I think they were, the, the ones that have the canvas. But they're very similar. Let me take this off so I can properly compare the two. So they just re reverse the process. So, yes, mask is completely viable. But anyways, um, now move on to Hungarian. I made a completely separate video on this. You can watch that. But I'm just going to show you that 
that's how it goes on and very well actually let me take it off they're very similar the uh straps let me show you very similar harness placements very similar styles on the inside um good lighting you can kind of see that um and then fronts are similar designs are similar these look nicer than this but they're like i said they're very similar so um i will continue to demonstrate the usage of modern filters on this mask um like okay so one thing i want to mention if you watch my gp5 i'm pretty sure um if you watch my gp5 video i'm pretty sure i mentioned that if you put on the original filter and don't breathe in, like just don't breathe, like hold your breath, that's the only safe way you can use a GP5 filter, is that if you hold your breath while the filter's on. I wouldn't suggest doing that with an original filter because they're so old and so bad, especially this one because it's all rusted out. Don't even do that. I would not suggest it because if you accidentally breathe in a little bit, then you're going to be breathing in all that asbestos. So I highly, highly, like... Just don't wear the mask while this filter is attached to here. This is purely a collector collector's item and a display piece. So that's that's out of the way. Now I'll continue to demonstrate with a GP5 hose. Again, 40 millimeter DOST. I've actually have not tried this yet, so it might not even work. Oh, never mind. It works flawlessly. Now you might never have seen a German gas mask with a hose on it. But now I have my, again, I'm going to make a video on this sometime, but I have my Polish FP203 filter. You can kind of see that. Um, this is a kind of an EO14 style filter. Actually, it still says EO14 on it, but I guarantee you that, well, I can't guarantee you, but I'm pretty sure that this is a completely safe and harmless filter. I've used it many times, and I'm still alive, so I'm sure it's fine. So, it's a... Just get this all hooked up here, and I shall demonstrate with this filter attached, which is actually the first time I've put this filter on this mask, so this is a first for both me and you. So, let's go in, uh, let's, uh, I don't want to put too much stress, so, just, uh, I don't want to put too much stress on the mask itself, so, just gonna put that down, put the mask on. Good. Okay. Okay. So now I am breathing through the FP5 uh, FP203 filter with the German World War II gas mask. Let me get my hair out of here. That so makes a better seal. Okay. So as you can see, I'm using. This filter here, you can see, it, the writing's kind of gone. Got to focus on that. So, and it does stay EO14 on the side. But I guarantee this is not just a painted EO14. It is actually a different filter on the inside. So, okay, I noticed. But uh, I am noticing. Okay, it's fine. So there's probably the the valves needing to work. The valves are probably a little sticky. Um, but you can see how uh, these don't get an airtight seal. I'll put my hand on here and go. See, it doesn't hold an airtight seal. It's got a, especially on this side, it's got a leak somewhere in the lens so uh yeah so i'll go ahead and detach this oh, let me take this off first um that's now with the original so now i've shown you with the fp5 filter and the fp203 both polish mask pole made filters now they're both filters that work 
perfectly fine. Any filter that you have that is safe that will work with your GP5 gas mask will work with this mask. No joke. Even this GP5 filter here, this will work perfectly fine on this. So, it's... Any mask, any filter that works with this will work for this, which I think is great. And I think people in, yeah, in that do gas mask videos a lot, I think they need to talk about this more because for people that want to actually use or maybe wear their original gas masks and be safe about it, this is good information to have. But you can just use your... Okay, that's the wrong filter. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. You can use your standard FP5 filter. Screw that in. And it screws in just fine. Again, that's because of the leak in the lenses. But uh, so I'm going to take it off now. So that's the general overview. Um, by the way, um, here's a good view. I'm going to give you a good view of the uh, inside of this mask. So you can get a feel for what it looks like on the inside. So that's what it looks like. It's got the blue. Um, I'm pretty sure all this blue paint, by the way, was meant like as a anti-magnetic paint. Because the like the metal was like magnetic and they put this blue paint on it to keep the magnets from sticking to it. I don't know. But uh, it has blue on the exhale valve. I'm pretty sure that's the exhale. Or is that the intake? Uh no. The the blue's the blue one's the exhale and the big one's the uh intake yeah pretty sure yeah exactly um you got a little chin rest strap here that your chin goes like up, uh, up against that in like around here when you're wearing the mask if on around the lenses you have these big ginormous c clips you can see the gap in that the uh, right there a big gap there's basically just giant c clips that come in and out of here and i've done it before to clean it and it's just to pop in and out the uh, plastic anti-fogging lenses. So that's how that works. So, uh, so it's yeah, this lens and this one, this has a big leak in it, this lens. And then this lens has a tiny leak in it. It pr improves whenever I cover the one eye. If I cover the one eye and breathe in, I cover the thin there and here at the same time. It does improve the seal, but you still got a tiny bit of leakage on the other side too so i'm gonna try to get some kind of sealant and take these rings out and the anti-fog lenses out and then just putting a little bit of a seal around there and then putting that all back in now putting the anti-fog lenses in the mask does help but it's still not good as you as you saw i sucked in and it just just formed right back out so um maybe into some more tiny details um the straps have elastic in them here's the thing the uh, the Hungarian mask, uh, elastics in it. It's just it's just straight up elastics, but the elastics in here are springs. So they're a lot more. Um, there's actually a hole in a big hole in one of these. You can probably see the spring. Actually, that one's really coming out. Um, like I said, this is not the absolute best condition, but pretty good. You're not going to be able to see this on camera, but I'm just going to... Just believe me, there's springs in there. Um, but yeah, it's overall in decent shape. Um, just need to fix some things. But uh, I'm missing a little bracket here. You can see where it used to be. This It's uh, this. This is what you use, like I, like I demonstrated when putting it on. It's what you use to pull this over... And to tighten it to your head so uh that's my basic review of this gas mask um when i'm gonna when i put it away i put my glasses back on so i can actually see what i'm doing but um oh one last thing um just for the heck of it i have the filter that came with the hungarian gas mask and again since it's 40 millimeter gauss it works just fine. It, it fits on. Of course, breathing through this filter is, uh, again, like the GP5, breathe at your own risk. I, 
I don't know if this contains asbestos or not. Um, it's probably a safer bet because it was a different, like, origin, country of origin, and it was made at a different time period than the GP5. So, the GP5's manufacturing started in, like, the early 70s, late 60s, early 70s, where these started in, like, the late 70s, early 80s. And by then, asbestos was starting to become what more well known about. So, these are again like a breathe at your own risk. <clears throat> so, that about does it for my review of this. Um, if you ever see these, unless you're a serious collector and you don't want to wear your original gear, then that's fine. But if you're like me and you like to have original stuff and to actually wear and use and mess around with, then if you can get one of these cheap enough, you can put a modern FP5 filter like I demonstrated, and it'll work just fine. So, I'm um, going to put it away now. I'll show you the, the process of doing so. Um, just the reverse. Um, I'm going to find the seal here. The seal for my... Uh, by the way, the, the seal on my FP5, kind of the little tab broke. So I have to open it a funky way, as you probably noticed whenever I was opening it earlier to get it prepared for this. But uh, I'm gonna just <clears throat> I'm gonna take a canister, put the filter in first. It just sits in the bottom, and then your mask, and kind of what I do is I tuck. Take all the canvas, tuck it inside the mask, and then kind of fold it up. Now you think that you see a lot of these German gas masks and a lot of them are deformed from, from doing this, being in this canister. Well, this one's been in this canister for probably long enough and it hasn't deformed a whole lot. So I think it's probably fine. But uh, then you close the lid and it's double hinge, so make sure you get it on right. Some it might go on wrong, and then again, just pull it down and get on there like that. And then that's that's this. That's that's the World War II German gas mask. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, <clears throat> I probably will be next video will probably be based either on whatever you guys want more. Either uh, possibly those filters that I'd use to demonstrate the mask, my new, uh, hold on a second, my new reproduction uniform, US World War II uniform, or reproduction uniform I just got, and I also have originals as well to make a video about those, um, and or I can make a video about. Uh, a Nerf Blaster, a vintage 1990s Nerf Blaster that I, I just got for Christmas as well. So, you guys let me know which which one you like, which video you'd like to see next. Um, that's th that about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I guess, not to sound desperate, but like and subscribe. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye!